Millions of girls make their transition to womanhood through a rite of passage. Traditions are very strong in the culture and have a profound effect on the lives of girls. Girls like 14-year-old Mary, who is preparing for her ceremonial cutting, and for Alice, who is in her early 20s and has decided not to follow the requirements of culture. Even though this sacred tradition has been passed on from generation to generation and has done so for thousands of years. In the days before her final journey to womanhood, Mary and her community have many preparations to tend to. There's a lot of gender imbalance in Pokot. Like in Pokot, the women don't have any possession. possession. They have no position even in the community. It's like they're just zero. Because if a man comes and asks, is there anybody here? They, they say, there's nobody here. Because if it's only the woman, she doesn't believe that she's somebody. So there's really a lot of imbalance in this community. Uh, the, the women don't have any position. Alice is studying to be a social worker and does work for a local health project. She is constantly reminded of the cultural myths behind the tradition of female genital cutting. Especially I want to fight against FGM, this female circumcision. Some believe that your firstborn will not survive if you are not circumcised. It has to die because you've not linked yourself with the ancestors. You have to shed blood to link yourself with the ancestors so you cannot get blessings from the ancestors. Alice joins the young who are celebrating girls who have recently been cut. These girls are easy to catch sight of with their painted faces and ornaments. When it comes to the time of circumcision, you are supposed to withstand all the pain. If in case that uh, you just cry or you sh show any, uh, any sign of being coward, even shaking your hands or even your eyelids, they declare that you, you are coward. <laughs> They believe that if you don't get circumcised, your clitoris will grow very long, it will sweep the ground. These are the things, the needs in the society. Countless women make a living as circumcisers. They take pride in their trade. <laughs> Refusing to follow tradition comes at a high price. When I got married, of course my, my husband knew that I was not circumcised, but uh, I came to realize that there was some part of him which really didn't want to accept me the way I am. <laughs> After living with him for around one and a half years, he started telling me, that, insisting that I should go and circumcise. He started abusing me and many things, like when he got drunk, he was just saying that, oh, you're just a kid, oh, you just were just mocking me even in front of my children. The community keeps a close watch on Alice. They just want to, they, they're just watching to see any negative that I'm doing. So things like prostitution, they're waiting to see that, oh, I'm so and so and so and so, so that they can just rule out from there that uh, it's just because she's not circumcised that she's doing a lot of prostitution. <laughs> It is the cut that transforms a girl into a woman. These women, 
ranging from 10 to 15 years of age, are now ready for marriage. Most will marry men many times their age. The ceremonial cutting is a cultural practice and is performed among people of many different religious faiths. As a part of the preparations for Mary's ceremony, rituals must be followed. Mary's mother has her head and eyebrows shaved several times during the days before the actual cutting. In many cultures, the hair of women is a very potent sexual symbol. So stripping a woman or a girl of her hair is a symbolic way of stripping them of their natural sexuality. In Mary's community, trees are very scarce, and sacrificing a tree in honor of the girl is considered very special. The community finds a very straight tree, which is a symbol of the straight and special path the girl is to follow during her adult life. Mary wears a necklace made of goat intestines, which is meant to strengthen her. The men have their own rituals to observe. It is forbidden for them to take part in most of the rituals the women perform during the preparation and actual cutting ceremony. Instead, the men prepare feasts in the bush to celebrate that a girl soon will be transformed into a woman. <laughs> Blood is shed and consumed many times in the community during the days before the cutting. As Mary's celebration day draws closer, there is tension and excitement in the air. But Mary withdraws more and more. The celebration day is dawning. A bed is being prepared for Mary so she can rest after the ceremonial cutting. Mary waits until it is time. By the hand of her mother, Mary's genitals are sliced off. All around a celebration erupts in honor of the child now a woman. <laughs> while Mary is left to cope with her pain, alone, in the dark. <laughs> 
those who are doing it, they are just doing it out of illiteracy. They don't really understand. Because myself, I believe that if these girls could be educated and really understand what it means, because out of circumcision, there's nothing, there's no benefit that you get. It's just problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah.